Have a seat by the fire, and let me know when you're ready to hear the story. Remember, ask nicely. Imagine the flames are the waves of a vast ocean. Cold waves on a clear blue ocean off the coast of Somerset. Now picture an island. Trees around the island shimmer in the sunlight. Each gently cresting ocean wave sparkles. Many stones, roots, and flowers on the island were shaped by Magicka. Only two living Ultma possess such power. One of those two Ultma stands outside the manor on this island. Her island. Go to her. Become her friend. The island of Silatar. I'm so glad you could come. My parents will be back tonight, and I was afraid I'd have to face them alone again. That's why I asked you to come early. I'm not sure what will happen either. Before they get back, I want to be carefree. We can visit some of our favorite places together. They were afraid, like everyone else. After I raised up the land under the sea and smashed that ship, even though nobody got hurt, they said my magic was too dangerous. You're the only one who isn't afraid of me. You're not afraid, right? You don't know what this means to me. Now, what will we do first? I know, let's race to the lighthouse like we did when we were little. Bet you still can't catch me. my vines getting in your way? <laughs> Not bad. You're pretty fast. Maybe. You know I've always had a special connection to the land. Sometimes things happen, and I don't even think about it. It just happens. I'm sorry, it just... happened. Wait, something's wrong. Can you feel that? The land's in pain, burning hot. Look, the farm's burning! Over the rise... Wait. Too many footsteps, and it's too early for my parents' return. Boots. Boots. There are invaders on Silatar. We have to stop them.
battle show them. No one attacks my island. <gasps> what have they done to my farm? Why would they do this? Animals! Does it matter? I'm tired of this. Everyone wants to hurt me or use me, and it stops now. Where were you when my parents tested me? Where were you when I needed you most? You left me. Why are you even here? I'm... I'm sorry. After my parents left, I felt so alone. I couldn't find you. People kept coming. They'd attack, hound me, want me to show them what I can do, like I was a circus animal or some kind of pet. I shouldn't take it out. No, it's not your fault. Thanks to you, these bastards didn't get very far. They could have destroyed everything. It's getting late. We need to clean up before my parents return. Meet me at the manor later. Come. I must speak with you once more. In her tale, Aronias was volatile, and she swung between anger, shame, and hope. Feared by her own parents because of her abilities, she faced the bandits alone. This made her bitter and hardened against others, vulnerable to outside influences. You will soon see it for yourself. But first, you should view another scene from Aronias' past. She was a bit younger and excited about her newly found skills. Are you ready? clothes all wet. Mother, what do you think of this tree? How about this island you're standing on? The ground is soaked. I'll need new shoes now. I made it. What? You made the ground soggy? The island. I made this little island. What? Ara, what do you mean you made it? These trees, those rocks, none of this was here yesterday. The ground is wet because I used my magic to pull it up from under the water. Oh, Ara, what have you done? Gifted with a rare and powerful ability, Aranias tried in vain to win her parents' affection. So much happened next, but I especially draw your attention to two particular events. One scene is atop the lighthouse, the other in the manor's great hall. They will help you understand more about our troubled Altmer, I hope. No. The greatest challenge comes next, and Aranias needs you. Her parents returned after the attack on the farm, and brought with them the people they considered their daughter's only hope, the Veiled Heritants. She should not face this alone. Getting changed at the manor. You should do the same after you watch those scenes. You'll find a change of clothes in the guest bedroom off the Great Hall, then, go to Aranias in the garden.
I'm sorry. You're lucky they're alive. How many more ships will you sink? It was an accident. Accidents are spilling water, dropping glass. You lifted a ship out of the ocean with a wall of rock. I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. Your mother and I will discuss your punishment. Go. And I leave for Somerset in the morning. I won't do it again, I promise. I'll try harder. Don't leave me behind. Don't grovel. It's unbecoming. We will return with help to control your temper. How much more can I apologize? I said I'm sorry. No, Ara. It's just you need training. What you did to the ship, that scares people. What sort of training, Father? You look good. How do you feel? There are so many people. And look, it's High Kin Lady Estri. Why is she here? I bet my parents want me to show off my powers. I thought they were bringing me a teacher or something. Hesitant? I hate this, and they've got something particular they want to see. Would you do me a favor and find out? Mingle among them, eavesdrop. Find out what they've planned for me. I'm not sure yet. They'll probably want another statue raised from the ground. My parents treat that like a party trick, and this is a party after all. But the way they're talking, it sounds more dangerous, and I'm a bit worried, to be honest. Ugh. 
Her parents invited me to witness her powers firsthand. She lifted the ground up under my very feet. Her demonstration today will not be one of skill, but of character. Under demonstrates amazing potential. Why are we bothering with this girl and her clods of dirt? Under could melt them with hardly a thought. What do they call her? The Rock Witch? Hilarious. <laughs> Provincial. Ander has one of the little beggars in the field, away from the house. Aranias will demonstrate her talents on the other. Her demonstration will determine how we employ her talents. I'm afraid this one is about to die. I didn't realize how frail Bosma were. Not this goblin-faced meat-eater, his wife. Wait a minute. You're not with the heritance. They... they took my wife. They will give her to the witch, the rock witch. The land will kill her. They said the land... Hmm. You killed Ander. That's not supposed to happen. Oh, don't worry. It was an entertaining twist, to be sure. But sadly, as real as it may seem, this is just a story. In real life, you were not there to kill Ander. He has had considerable time to grow in power, and his temper has not gotten any longer, if you understand me. It seems the Veiled Heritants have sent him after Aranias to ensure she kills the Wilder King, or dies if she fails. I met him. He wanted to get into this story, but he wouldn't ask nicely. But there's nothing we can do about that right now. We have a story to finish. Aranias' big moment is about to arrive. You should go to her. In the garden. She's been commanded to kill the wife of this Bosma. You should hurry to her. She faced this alone last time.
This creature is no different from those who burned your Whoa, farm. In misery. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Aranias, my child, raise the ground up to trap this animal. Please let us go. Aranias, do you remember how helpless you were when your farm burned? Good, good. Now tear this animal apart. This is my test. If I can take the life of this girl, it means that I am willing to make the necessary sacrifices. What about the Bosma who attacked my island? What were they, Dominion ambassadors? A peace mission? If I refuse to kill this Bosma, then what? I'll be alone again. The Rock Witch of Silatar, a monster for fairy tales. You're here with me now, but what about later? No, no, that's not it. I must trust myself. Believe I can do what's right. I don't need anyone, you or the Veiled Heritance. I am stronger than this. I won't murder an innocent to prove I can, no matter who demands it. The Veiled Heritons won't control my destiny. I will. I can do this, and I shall. No, I won't do it! You were a fine character, most enjoyable, and it looks like you made quite an impression on Aranias. As one story ends, another reaches its climax. Our little bit of mischief was a success. Because of you, Aranias may very well betray her masters to defend the Wilder King. Truly, I hope we never need change a story so extensively again. Though we spinners can do so, it's usually better to let a tale conclude on its own. Usually. Venturing into the story of Aranias's past has sown the seeds of her transformation, but they have yet to sprout. Even now, she and Anda are a trail of destruction toward the Wilder King's throne. Their intention is to destroy him. Preserving his life may be impossible at this point, but you must try. Without him, the Valenwood will rage out of control. The only hope lies with Aranias and with you. Go to Greenheart, and follow the trail of fire to the Wilder King's throne. Do you know how to read? I am called Sumeriel. I am one of the Hollow. We live to serve the Wilder King, who is our god, our creator. I ask you if you can read, because I have this book, which is supposed to tell the true story of the Wilder King. I can read it, but I am afraid to. I am not like the other Hollow. I can question my existence. 
I can believe or not believe. It must be done, and I would be most grateful. You should know that who or whatever wrote this book bound it to the labyrinth. To traverse one, you need the other. This book holds a single passage only. The words for the next passage will appear once you have opened the book. Follow them. They will transport you to a point deeper into the labyrinth, then settle on the page and create another... Thank <laughs> you. 
I have roamed this land since before many of these trees were seeds. In that time, I have wanted to know how I came to be. Yet here you stand with the answer, and I hesitate. Uncertain. I am unsure what I will regret more. Knowing or never knowing the truth. Forgive my indecision. Please, continue. Mortal? Like you? What happened to me? Yet I live, don't I? Past, present, and future are stark, stripped of illusion, and I am left with more questions. I will have to find a new way to exist, neither living nor dead, neither doubting nor believing. It's all right. At least we're here. <sighs> Memories of youth are the treasures of old age. Savor them, and those who share them. They'll fade, but they're as sweet as sun's dusk ale while they last. Tongues of Xarxas. I sound like a pedantic old fool, don't I? Forgive me. Yes, ignore my nostalgic nonsense. It's just an attempt to pretend my musty past is worth something more than it is. Getting old isn't easy. My dear Marilia is passing. We came to see the flowers, but they don't seem to grow here anymore. I don't know. Nereid smile, they're called. So blue, so beautiful. There must be some nearby, but I'm too old to hunt them down. I wonder, though, if you see any, could you gather some seeds? I could sow them here, for old time's sake. You are generous to humor two silly old men, but those seeds would mean so much to us. When we were young, we used to sneak away from the clan and come here to be together. Lying here among the Nereid smile, it seemed like we had forever. Not unless you can turn back time. No. To be honest, we've lived for many years more than either of us expected, but our time has finally come. Nothing can forestall my husband's death now, nor mine, which I expect will follow soon after. This one has what you need. It's good you're here. 
With earth magic and fire, Aranias and Ondor force their way towards my throne, leaving chaos in their wake. I've lost control of my guardians. My power fades. I've always wondered what death would be like. Soon, I will know. My end was inevitable all along. Someone new must become caretaker of the Veiled Wood. Aranias was guided here for this purpose. It's fascinating. In her heart, I think she knows the truth, but she's conflicted. Perhaps it is Onda's influence. I think you should catch up with him. Follow the trail of fire. Aranias must choose to accept the responsibility of her own accord, but Onda will not understand. They're so beautiful, Hartman. Do you think they'll last forever? It's all for us, Marelia. The forest, the flowers, all of it. Life is so precious, and so fleeting. Don't let it pass you by. Take time to feel the caress of the wind, and listen to the way it carries the sound of your true love's name. Marelia. I never did hear anything so sweet. Yes. His passing was quick and peaceful, and we were together. That's all that really mattered. Soon I will rest too. But you, you're so kind. Did you find the Nereid smile? It's funny. The flowers meant so much to us when we were young, but at the end, we didn't need the flowers anymore. Yeah. Goodbye, Marelia. I sow these seeds in memory of the life we shared. Even as we fade, may others come here and find the same joy.
Wisdom lies in being prepared for... That too, please. Prosperity. 